G'day again guys and thank you for joining me. So lately I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Um, I've been really deep diving into playing around with some watercolours. It's all off camera, no pressure sketchbook style work. And while I've been having fun with it, my results have been extremely hit and miss. Um, the amount of failed experiments behind me has been absolutely staggering. Now, of course, I've learned a lot with all of these failures behind me, but for this piece, I just wanted a quick win. A complete artwork that I could create that I knew would be successful. Something super, super simple that I could use to just restore something to my battered artist ego. Now, I have wanted to draw a little willy wagtail forever. I think they're adorable little birds with these big fan tails and these cute little angry eyebrows. But I just haven't managed to get a good photo of these birds. Now, for those of you outside Australia, willy wagtails are about the size of a sparrow and they are extremely fast. So every time I pulled out the camera and got close enough of one of these birds to take a photo, they had already up and flown away but not this little guy. We had gone down to a local cafe for breakfast and we found that we had a little extra guest at the table. Now, looking at the round belly on this little guy, he clearly knows where to go and get a good feed. And he was not shy at all when it came to getting really close up to the diners. He jumped right up next to me on the chair and held a few poses while I took these reference photos. And I finally got a detailed enough shot to use. Unfortunately, the best photo that I had did leave his tail out of the shot. So I did have to do a little Google search of Willy Wagtail pics so that I could draw in a reasonably accurate tail. Really glad I took the time to do this because the tail feathers lay against each other in a very different way than how I had imagined they would. And I also noticed that these tail feathers were generally a lot rattier and less preen than most other birds. I wasn't sure what colours I would be using to create this little guy. Willy Wagtails are pretty flat black and white in colour, so at first I thought I would be working with just blacks and cold greys, um, but as it came together it started to look a little bit just meh, so I took a little artistic license and added a few touches of blues and deep purples to add just a little touch of something extra. These blues and purples are only ever so slightly glazed over the top of those blacks and greys, so it's a very subtle effect, but it did make a huge difference to make the whole drawing more lively and interesting to look at. Keeping this in mind, I did notice that the tail did have a very slight brown tone to his feathers, so I used some walnut and sepia tones to ever so slightly shift the colour of these wings and fans in the same way I did with the rest of his body. I love how these colours worked out on this piece. When I'm looking at it from a distance, he looks very much just straight black and white. But as you get a bit closer, you can really clearly tell that it's not monochromatic or boring, which I think is what would have happened if I'd just left him straight black and grey. I did the same sort of thing with the white of his underbelly, but instead of using the blues and the greys, this time I used the Derwent Light Fast Wheat Coloured Pencil, which is a beautiful neutral tone, to just ever so slightly shift the colour of his white feathers to make them just that bit more interesting to look at. When it came time to draw his legs and feet, I did have to make a lot of changes from my reference photo. Now in that photo, his feet are very flat as he sits on the edge of that couch. But I knew I wanted this little guy to be sitting on a branch, so I very lightly drew in the general shape of I wanted the stick to be in, and I drew that in a little guide for how round the stick would be, and I used that line to draw the toes as they curled around the branch. Since his feet are only very, very fine, tiny little things, I didn't really have to add too much detail. But I did have to get that curve right to make sure he looked like he was actually sitting on the branch and not floating strangely above it. Finally, I moved on to the branch. I just grabbed a stick out of my garden and I lightly layered different tones of greys and greens and browns to get a sticky colour. There wasn't too much thought put into this part. I just added a few little splotches here and there that kind of looked like the stick that I had in my hand. Since a stick is kind of a stick and I wasn't trying to make it look like any particular kind of plant. With the stick done, I added in a few tiny, tiny little dots of white with the brush and pencil touch-up texture and titanium white mix, and I was ready to call him done. And here's the final piece. I really love how this one turned out. It's just a super simple, clean little drawing that just worked out nicely. 
Seeing how this little piece turned out makes me feel a lot better about the train wreck pieces on my desk at the moment, and I had a lot of fun putting this together as well. As always, I would just like to take a moment to thank my patrons. This little drawing only took about two hours to put together all up, so I have already uploaded the entire drawing in real time for you guys over there in two parts. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a like or a comment to tell me what you think, and if you would like to see some more of my work, then why not hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.